Good day and welcome to the Time Preservation Society. I'm Edmund Dantes. Today we're looking at the Stedman Pro Screen PS101 All Metal Pop Filter. This guy right here. You've probably seen this guy in many pictures and videos and have wondered if it's worth buying. Other than for how cool it looks, because it does look wicked cool. I'll be answering that question, but first, some information. Stedman is a privately held company that began in 1992 and were mainly focused on building microphones and DI boxes and the like. But before long, they began phasing out electronic products and then really focused on a unique pop filter that was the first of its kind. The company invented the metal pop filter as a way of combating high frequency loss that occurs when using the traditional fabric filters. The result was the Pro Screen line, which Stedman holds the patent for. There are a few versions of it, but they all work the same way. The idea behind the Pro Screen design is incredibly clever. Instead of filtering out the burst of air, it redirects the air away from the mic capsule while simultaneously allowing the full audio frequencies to come through without obstruction. I love ingenuity. Let's have a look at it. The Stedman PS101 is a gorgeous little contraption. It features an almost all-metal design. This pop screen is thin and semi-transparent. It looks like a screen, except for all those little holes actually have a specific shape that guides the air through in a downwards motion. The screen is attached to a high-end gooseneck that is covered in a heavy-duty vinyl shrink material that not only protects the metal underneath, but also reduces the noise that might be introduced while adjusting it. The gooseneck feels quite different when compared to other cheaper ones you may have used before. When you move it to a position, it stays there. It feels very well made. The gooseneck has a clamp at the end opposite the filter, and this clamp has a very convenient clamping knob that once again feels like the pinnacle of quality. Even the little screw that clamps down on the stand you're fastening it on has a solid nylon tip so that it doesn't damage or mark up what you're clamping it to. It's really a well thought out design. It has a great weight to it, but it's not too heavy where it might add too much weight on your mic stand. It weighs 165 grams, and that's less than half a pound. It measures... Oh, hold on a sec. Let me just grab my trusty measuring tape here. You know, this measuring tape was manufactured in 1985. I picked it up that same year in a 17th century pirate ship that was concealed in a booby-trapped cave in Astoria, Oregon. Anyway. It's 20 inches from tip to end. The screen is about four and a half inches in diameter and has no measurable thickness. It exists in two dimensions only. You too can own a Stedman PS101 for 62 Canadian dollars or 40 US dollars. The great thing about the Stedman PS101 is that you can wash it. All that yelling and screaming and belting and spitting and horking all that liquid emotion just splattering all over your pop filter, hour after hour, day after day, year after year. Have you any idea the number of diverse colonies of microscopic critters that are living in your fabric pop filters? Just think about it for a moment. I'll wait. Do you ever think about washing those pantyhose filters? And even if you do wash them, it can't be good for it. Maybe you spray Lysol or hand sanitizer on it or something. But all you're doing is adding layers of something else to the fabric, building up over time, and then it's stopping a lot more than just plosives. It's stopping all kinds of frequencies. It's stopping your life. Soap? Same deal. And you know, every time you attempt to wash it, you're degrading it. Maybe you'll get a run in your pantyhose filter because you weren't careful enough while washing it. <laughs> we live in the COVIDian age. We all learned a lot more about microbes than ever before. And it was an extreme crash course. So we need to keep on top of proper sanitation. But do we? Chances are, if you don't have a Stedman, you're right now thinking, 
When was the last time I washed my pop screen? Even if you'll never publicly admit it, your own self knows the truth. So that's a big plus for the Stedman. Another great thing about this thing is the semi-transparency. I'm not sure how this looks on camera, but you can see through the Stedman a lot better than the other types of pop filters. It's especially good when you're reading narration uh, or the song lyrics you were supposed to memorize, but instead played Elden Ring. It seems less intrusive to your line of sight. Oh, I sometimes forget to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So far, I do this pro bono, and I'd really like not to. We live in a society. So, I appreciate that. Cheers. Let's do some tests. Here it is with a Stedman on it. I'm going to try to, uh, in post, minimize the handling noises here. But So, let's move this out of the way. So, here's the fabric one that comes built into the road uh shock mount so it's it's good but it really does seem to reduce some of the high frequencies if you have headphones on right now you uh you might be able to tell the difference or not but that's what this does and now let's trade it that actually is not <laughs> that actually works a lot better and you can hear listen to those high frequencies oh i can get it to go if i really push but even, but even still the difference is let's show the difference watch this You see, you're just kind of hearing it blow against the metal, but you're not hearing it peek out the pop filter. That's really good. You know what I should do? I should do the lighter trick. Uh, I see a lot of people on YouTube try the lighter trick, and I should do that. So um, let's do that. Okay, so I removed the Stedman from the mic, and now I'm going to do the lighter trick. So it's going to hold it right about there. So... Jeez, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> okay, let me get it closer. If you get it too close, yeah, say I'm blow it out if it's too close. So if I bring it down below, see, we'll watch the air. Should try, see, it's because it's, it's traveling down this way. So, but. So that's where you got to keep it. You just got to keep it, um, you know, a good, I would say, maybe four, four or five inches away. So right about here. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's good. So there you go. There's the lighter trick. I had to try it. So there you have it. Analysis. I love the Stedman. When recording voice work or tracking vocals, the PS101 is always on my mics. I even remove the pop filter from the SM7B and use the Stedman instead. It really goes a long way to preserving all of your frequencies. I think it's the perfect pop screen. If anyone thinks I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I'd love to pit it against this Stedman, because as far as I'm concerned, this is the best there is. Some people have said that this specific model, the PS101 here, rings with certain resonant frequencies, like when you hit that one note in the shower and the whole bathroom vibrates. I have never experienced this happening to the PS101 at all. Not once. But there are other models of this same design that would eliminate that potential resonance completely, like the ProScreen XL, which features a sort of damping ring and it's bigger. But once again, I have never experienced this resonation at all, and I've used it on all kinds of stuff. With that said, does it stop 100% of every plosive? No. 
but it comes closer than the fabric ones and it doesn't affect your natural frequencies at all and you can also see through it and it's just cool looking. Do I recommend the Stedman PS101? Yes I do. Very, very much. It remains my favorite pop filter of all time. And I would keep buying this if they ever died, but they don't die because they're kick-ass and come with a lifetime warranty and made in the USA by an ethical company that is environmentally conscious and wants to help save the world from us dirty humans. And lastly, how did I escape? With difficulty. How did I plan this moment? With pleasure. Bye now. End transmission.